To have your name above this door must rate as one of the highest accolades on British TV. And this Christmas, the battle is on once again to find a new landlady to take over the Rover's return. But as you can see, who it's going to be must remain a mystery. Yes, Shelley and Gina are set to battle it out for the Rovers in the run-up to Christmas. And whoever takes the crown will join an amazing lineup of legendary landladies, the likes of Annie Walker, Bette Lynch, Vera Duckworth and Natalie Barnes. Tonight I'll be meeting up with some of the Rovers' finest to find out just what it takes to be a hit behind that bar. A very warm heart. Gritty northern determination is a good one. But first off, I'm to meet the two girls at the centre of the storm, Sally Lindsay and Jennifer James, as they take a break from filming. Oh! oh. Hello. Hello! Hello! Are you all right? Yeah, very nice. Come in, it's dead exciting. <laughs> it's lovely. <laughs> Come in. Wow, it looks fantastic. Oh, it's great. But look at the, the size, size of this, this bed. Oh Wait. my life, look at it. How many people it's can you get in that? Say, it's huge, big enough it? for about five. Behind the bar. Um, you, you're in many ways are being portrayed as the sort of the, the new Bet Lynch. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I am no, really. No, I don't think. Did you, did you the... feel a pressure about that? Because I mean, she's one of the more famous. Well, oh uh, yeah, she's, she's absolutely Manor. fantastic. You know, we, but they, they compare you because it's such. I think it's just a formula, a blonde barmaid behind the Rovers, and there's always a dark one. And we're just the new generation of a formula that works really. Look, all I want is a pint. Yeah, well, get it from someone else, eh? No. He used to do it in army, you were telling us. He has a thing about thongs. Now, uh, have to tell me about uh, the big storyline, because you're both involved in it. It's in the run-up to Christmas, and it's who's going to be the new landlady of the Rovers' Return? Yeah. Yeah. It's nothing so innocent. Excited. Yeah. yeah. No, it's been brilliant, actually, because we, we go for the pub. Gina and Shelley go for the pub. Yeah. And they get their boyfriends, respective business people boyfriends, to, to bid for it. And yeah. presumably that spills out into the Rovers itself between the two of you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a real atmosphere, isn't there? It's and every scene, everyone's like, cut it with a knife, you know, the yeah. crew's like, get you. <laughs> Getting all so We love doing it, you know, because we're sort of friends. We just love doing it anyway, it's brilliant. Good laugh, isn't it? Can yeah. you tell us who's going to win? No. Can't. Top secret? Absolutely, I'm top, really top sorry. Secret. What Liam. about, uh, uh, Jen, your, your favourite uh, bar person, to be politically correct? Um, Betty. I love Betty. Betty's fun. She's just amazing. And I'm telling you, she's got the most energy out of all of us. We'll be like, oh, I'm knackered. And Betty's She'll be like, come on, come on now. You weren't expecting me to work, were you? Well, yes, actually. The millennium. We're by feet. Let me put you in this scenario. Imagine uh, I, I'm the brewery boss. Don't do this. Yes, I, 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 I am going to do this. I am going to do this. Come on, then, you first. What, what would be your sales pitch? Why should I give you the roses? Oh. Because I'm bright and bubbly, <laughs> and um, I can talk to everybody there, and I would have a good laugh. What yeah. would Shelley say? Shelley so would say, well, yeah, I'm fantastic flirt, and all the, you know, I'd get all the blokes in the palm of my hand. Are uh, we yeah. going to see a big fight, I mean, physical fight? No, no, you'll have to watch and You'll see. have to watch, yeah, I don't want to give that one away. It's not pretty. But what qualities make the ideal Rover's landlady? There's really only one person who can answer that question. Judy Good, yeah? Pleasure to meet you. Matthew Wright, it's your pleasure. But it's a difficult question to ask you. I mean, do you think that that Bet was the ultimate landlady come barmaid? In a word? Yeah. Yes. No, no, it's, I mean, it's, <laughs> I'd it's, love it, to be humble. It's a, it's, I th but I think it's a, that's a fair response. What do you think she, she had, Bet? What, what was it that people love so much? A very warm heart. Uh, comedy. When I wear necklines like that, the temperature around me shoots up to near tropical. Am I right, Stan? But you've got to remember that Coronation Street's strength has always been its women. Strong, northern women. With balls. And I can honestly say, I wish, I wish I was in my 20s again and I could go back and do it all again because I would do. Would you do it differently? It would you do it differently? No, no. Of course not. No. Not one iota differently, because it worked. And from Denise Welsh, who knows both Sally and Jennifer personally, a few words of advice. Well, to the actresses, I would give the advice which they, which really will be teaching your grandmother to suck eggs in their case, because they've both been the barmaids now for some time, which is to have to come to comfortable shoes, because you are, you are there a long time behind that box. You've got to have your comfy shoes. 
as an actress again, you've got to work out many different ways of emptying ashtrays and of wiping the bar. Perhaps different colour dishcloths, tea towels, just to sort of ring the changes. What Jane Danson and I, who played Leanne, used to do is have a little subplot going on. It was purely for our own enjoyment in the background. Some of them were a little bit saucy and we watched them sneak out because they hadn't noticed them in the edit. So that was quite good fun. Um, and as characters, pretty much what we've said, strong and ballsy and with a, and, and with a sense of humour, which both those characters have got anyway in abundance. We'll find out who's going to be the new Rover's landlady just after Christmas, but in the meantime, who would make the ultimate Corrie landlady? No man. Go on. Madonna. She I just she I think, absolutely love Madonna. She's amazing. Yeah. I love to see Madonna behind the bar in the Rovers. Yeah. Can you imagine? Mm -hmm. I can't imagine, actually. That's why it would be <laughs> funny. I would like to see Joan Collins behind the bar up there. I think she'd be fabulous. I think mine it would be one of uh, the Victoria Wood characters played by Julie Walters, because she's not my all-time favourite actress. I just think she's fantastic. I can't answer that. But whoever it is, I wish them luck and I would ask them to treat it with tremendous respect.